Okay, so we are learning about uh, finding the area of a regular pentagon. Okay, so let's look at this example. We've got ourselves a regular pentagon, which means it has five sides, with a side length of eight inches. So therefore we know this is eight, 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 eight. Okay, we know the formula for area of a regular pentagon. Area equals one half the apothem times the perimeter. Do I have any of that right now? Why, yes I do. I can do eight times five, which is 40. So I know that I can put that in for my perimeter. So I've got one half. I don't have my A, and I know this is 40. So all I gotta do is find my apothem, which we know our apothem is this little fella, right? Correct. Okay, so let's take a gander. So we know that we need to split this up into a bunch of triangles, correct? Actually, just one triangle. We know they're all gonna equal 360 when they go all the way around, so we just do 360 divided by how many central angles there will be. Five sides, so gonna be five angles. 360 divided by 5, which would be 72. So I know this whole thing right here is 72 degrees. Okay? Now, I don't want that whole thing. I just want this part of it. So to do that, I know that's going to be a right angle because remember, Apotham, just like Gotham, Batman takes the shortest line to his criminals. Apotham takes the shortest line to the side, which means it's going to make a right angle. Okay? So we got a right angle. I'm going to redraw this triangle. A little bit bigger and a little bit less complicated. So, there's your triangle. This is your apothem, what you want. We know that um, this is a right angle. We know that if that's 72 degrees all the way across, we just cut in half to find what this little fella is. So, it'd be 36 degrees. Okay? And then we know if this is 8, to get half of that, we just cut in half. So, it'd be 4. So, we've got our angle. We've got, here's the hypotenuse. This is opposite. This is adjacent. Just like Sokotoa told us. We know our tangent is our opposite over adjacent. That's what we have and that's what we want. So we've got tangent 36 equals opposite, which is four, over adjacent, which is A, okay? Then all we do is we multiply both sides by A to get rid of this, because we want to get A by itself. So we multiply it so that it would be A times tangent 36 equals 4. And then we just get the tangent 36 over here, and since it's being multiplied, we have to divide it. So A equals 4 divided by tangent 36 degrees. Now, we have our apothem, correct? So let's go ahead and write it into our problem. Area equals, I like to put this as 0.5, it makes it less confusing. That's just my personal preference. You don't have to, I just think fractions can get easily messed up on a calculator. Okay, and I know my apothem is 4 over tangent 36. And then times 40. Now, you can top this whole thing in your calculator and get your answer. Um, my calculator is a little jack, so I can't show you. Because um, I ran out of AAA batteries. Who has AAA batteries? I'm not a minor league baseball player. Okay, so we would just multiply these. If you wanted, you can go ahead and make it simpler. You know 0.5 times 40 is going to be 20 because that's half of it. So you do 20 times 4 over tangent 36. And that's going to equal 110.1. And then we look back at our units, which were inches. It's area, so it's going to be inches squared. There you go. You just found the area of a regular pentagon. Proud of you. Please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Um, it'd be tarveracademy.com. Tarver Academy.com. And I'm at Tyler Tarver. I scribbled because my name's right there. So subscribe, check it out, share it, tell your friends. Peace! Thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please subscribe. Maybe 